Hello everybody and welcome to BB and T Field in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for week 7 action between the NC State Wolfpack and your number 15, that's right ladies and gentlemen, your number 15 Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Last week we covered the Heisman, we covered the ACC standings, we covered stats, and Wake Forest is looking to go up and up and up the ladder in the top 25. It's a very good shot at a BCS bowl game this year, and they need teams in front of them to lose, obviously. But, just like they need teams to lose, they need to win. And it starts in the second half of the season with an ACC contest against the Wolfpack. It's an in-state rivalry. It's sure to be a good one. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to week number seven of the college football season. We'll kick things off here. And the first play of the game for Wake Forest, well, it's not going to be a run to Wayne Haynes. It's going to be a run, though, and it's going to be Dustin Thomas. And he picks up about 13, and that will move the sticks. First and 10. Now first and 10 after the pickup. Now it's a handoff to Wayne Haynes, except the Wolfpack were ready. Wayne Haynes, negative 2. Corey Johnson, first of 6 tackles on the day, and it's 2nd and 12. Now on 2nd and 12. From about their own 35-yard line, Thomas, read option, quarterback keeper, picks up a nice chunk of yardage. He is short, and it brings up third and short. Now on third and four, Thomas looking. He has his tight end, Curtis Crosby, and Crosby with a little second effort there, picks up a new set of chains. So now second and nine from midfield. Thomas, five-step drop, had no time to react. Wayne Haynes was supposed to be the blocker, but Paul Young just said, I do not care. Wayne Haynes got stuck on his own lineman, and that brings up a third and 16. Front third and 16, Thomas again would use his wheels. However, this time he will play a little smarter. He will slide, and he will be five yards short. So bring out the punter, and they will punt it away for their first possession. Now it's the Wolfpack's turn to see what they can do. First time with the ball, 520. John Bailey gets the handoff. John Bailey only picks up one. Good pressure from the inside edge from Wake Forest's D-line. Now five wide for the Wolfpack. Anthony Brown looking, and that one is almost intercepted. Good deflection there from the Wake Forest secondary, and it's a quick third down. Third and nine now for Anthony Brown and the Wolfpack. It loads up, and it's almost intercepted again. Eric Byers. Byers beware. There might be a sale on interceptions today. Second and 10, Wake Forest ball. Second possession, and this is Kyle Chandler. He picks up 10. Thought he was short at first, but the review did show he picked it up. So, new set of chains. Now to Wake Forest, or sorry, North Carolina State Territory. Wayne Haynes, a little second effort himself. Picks up 7 on first down. That brings up second and 3. 2.50 to go here in the first quarter from BB and T Field in Winston-Salem. Hand off to Wayne Haynes. Spin cycle two times the dose. He picks up a first down. Not once, but twice. He had to get it done. He got it done. Now, second and nine. Hand off to Anthony Johnson. Little wide receiver motion. First time you've seen that all year from the Demon Deacon offense. And it's five yards. So, third and four after the Anthony Johnson run. Thomas. He has a man open. That's Matt Burns. Burns picks up a first down. Wake Forest is driving. And at the end of one, we have a 0-0 ball game. But Wake Forest is threatening. We'll see if they can pick up any kind of score when we are in the second quarter. And speaking of the second quarter, here we are. 9.30 to go. First and goal. Wayne Haynes is just guaranteed. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. Number 36, currently your Heisman leader. Just pad those Heisman stats, buddy. It's all you're going to do for the rest of the year. 7-0 Wake. They get the ball back after NC State goes 3 and out again. Wayne Haynes, a big first down. And that lets off this. A little stretch play. Spin cycle all the way home. Wayne Haynes. You're not going to stop him. You're just not going to stop him. 
He's leading the Heisman. He's making uh, moves like that. And he's just routing the defenses that he plays, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen it for the past two years. He will not be contained. However, the Wolfpack said, hey, we're still a team in this game, too. It's not just about them Demon Deacons. John Bailey, he breaks off a 30-yarder. That would be the biggest run for the Wolfpack all game. But it sets him up in great territory. Across midfield in the Wake Forest territory from the Wake Forest 45. It's a handoff and it's a play fake. And Wake Forest bit on the handoff. A little option there. And Jeff Parker is the man. The slot receiver on that play from Anthony Brown. Picks up a first down. Brown had a little coverage in his face. Still got the pass off. Second and five. Second and five, excuse me, from the Wake Forest 20-yard line. First time NC State has seen anything close to the red zone. Bailey, well, he's going to get him a little bit closer. 15 yards, in fact, on that rush. And that leads to a second and goal. Goal line offense, goal line defense. Everything's goal line. It's a pass. No, it's a run. And that call is a little bit questionable, just like the Super Bowl. Anthony Brown sneaks his way in. We're not really going to get a great angle, but the ball did cross the plane. So at half, it's 14-7 Wake Forest. And this one is probably closer than Wake Forest fans thought, but their Demon Deacons are still leading. So second half adjustments, what do we want to see? What have we seen and what do we need to work on? Well, let's start on what we've seen. We've seen Wayne Haynes, we've seen Wayne Haynes, and we've seen Wayne Haynes. That's the first half. He's got both touchdowns, and he's all the offense. What do we want to see? We want to see the defense keep the Wolfpack to three and outs, like every other possession, like they have been. That's really helping them right now. Only one bad possession, but they still are up by seven. And what do we want to see, or I guess what have we seen? I think we've covered all the bases there, so... Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get you into the second half. For Wake Forest, over 200 total yards. For NC State, under 100. Time possession, 1656 for Wake, 304 for the Wolfpack. NC State, first opponent this year to run a normal offense. No, no huddles. No turnovers either for both teams. Keep an eye on that in the second half. However, though... In the second half, ladies and gentlemen, each team would only put up a field goal, and it's 17-10 Wake. We have two minutes to go in the fourth. We're not going to show you all the boring parts. Instead, we're going to show you the drive that actually decided the game. Anthony Brown tried to take off. He got, well, he didn't get sacked, but he got stopped for a yard. That sets him for second and nine. He snaps the ball, spikes it, third and nine. And from third and nine, John Bailey, man in motion. Brown looking, and that's almost intercepted by Josh Franklin. So that leads to a 4th and 9. This is for the game. Anthony Brown gives it all she's got, and his receiver just could not come down with it. Double coverage, had the catch, but Wake Forest never gave up on that play, and P.J. Brooks saved the game. 30 seconds left, final play of the game, and that is Dustin Thomas taking a victory kneel down. Wake Forest will win this 17 to 10 in spite of one field goal from both teams in the second half and only three touchdowns all game. Wake Forest number 15 walks out winners here to start the second half of their 2018 campaign. They improved to 5 and 1 on the year and heading into week number 8, they will remain at number 15. So, you'll see number 15 Wake Forest next week try to improve their rankings number one though did lose ohio state so that's something to keep an eye on and the heisman update heading into next week wayne haynes is still your leader he's starting to run away with it but there's a lot of football left we'll see next week when wake forest looks to go six and one thank you guys for watching this presentation of wake forest football once again your final from bb and t 17 10 team and deacon victory